Welcome to Post Game with Paul. I'm Paul Hughes. Stanton hosted the Class C Match of the Week on Thursday when the top-ranked Mustangs took on number four Wayne. All of the sets played out similarly, with Stanton going on runs midway through each and holding on for comfortable victory margins 25-17, 25-17, 25-21. Wayne coach Tracy Cruzmark said, her Blue Devils came to play. We were ready to play. We had a lot more fire and energy than we have in the last 10 days, so I was happy to see that. Um, we played pretty well. We just get to the middle of the game and we give up three or four points in a row, kind of in the teens. And then when you're playing a good team like Stanton, you can't get those points back. So um, just gave up too many long runs right in the middle of the game. Wayne was able to go on runs in every set, but Stanton coach Tracy Keister said her team stayed calm and never panicked. I think that what's the difference with that, compared even from our last year's team, is that we have so all those players except one or two have varsity experience. And uh -huh. so I think as when you get all those reps in every year, you get better and you learn to be patient out there. And we talk about that. We, we do a lot of pressure situations in practice where they need to capitalize on something. And so we try to train them to do that too. Third-ranked Clarkson Lee had a good and almost great weekend, taking perennial power David City Aquinas to the maximum three sets before dropping the final contest 26-24. Pierce also had a great week crossing the border to Dakota Valley, South Dakota and defeating both the 10-4 and 4 host team and 8th-ranked Ponca in straight sets. Second-ranked Humphrey Lindsay Holy Family was impressive at the Clarkson Lee Tournament, taking Aquinas to three sets in the semifinals before losing the final one 25-22. The Bulldogs were able to rebound and defeat third-ranked Chambers Wheeler Central for third place. Eighth-ranked Howells Dodge also had a nice run in Clarkson, losing to Aquinas in the opening round before recording victories over Class C two foes, Oakland Craig and Cross County for fifth place. Finally, Norfolk High picked up a big win Tuesday at home against Fremont. The Panthers then won two out of five matches over the weekend at the Lincoln Northeast Invitational. They're now 10-12 and 12 and go to Kearney on Tuesday. That's Post Game with Paul. I'm Paul Hughes.